I have a question for you. Do you have to do and feel like you just can't keep track of everything that you need to get done? Let me let you in on a little secret. To-do lists change my life. Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Claire. My goal is to help you organize, plan, and succeed in your personal and professional life. Today I want to show you how to effectively use your to-do list and get things done, but also to celebrate those little accomplishments that you do from day to day. This video is just a very quick and simple way on how I keep organized using my to-do list. So I have a little teaser for you. I believe time management and Dumbledore have a lot in common. Dumbledore taught me that you need a space that you can go back and reference your ideas so you just don't have those ideas floating around in your head. What you have to do has to be concrete. It can't just be an idea up here. It needs to be somewhere else that you can reference it later on. And that's exactly what to-do lists are. I'll go in a little bit more detail on Dumbledore and time management in a later video. So what I want to show you is how I organize my to-do list from day to day for my completed and incomplete tasks and how I make sure that I move those tasks on to the next day so they actually get done. These ideas are really similar to like bullet journaling, but I am one, not very creative or artistic, and two, I have terrible handwriting. The idea of putting together like a whole bullet journal or bullet journal, bullet journal, what is wrong with me? The idea of <laughs> Talk. The idea of putting together an entire bullet journal, 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 whatever, is really overwhelming to me because, again, I'm not very creative. It takes a lot of time. So I do something really simple. It takes some principles from bullet journaling, but I did this way before bullet journaling was like a thing. All right. So this is what you're going to need if you want to do a to-do list. Super, super easy, right? Okay. Number one, you can use a digital planner. That's what I use. Love my digital planner. It's great because you can erase things. It feels like you're writing in a real planner. I think it's really important to write things down. So when I'm talking about to-do list today, this is something that you're writing down. This is not something that you put in your phone and check off. You need to write down. There's a psychology behind writing things down really helps it to make more concrete rather than having it float in the, the cloud, so to speak. So what you need is, again, digital planner, a notebook, a blank piece of paper, post-it notes, I don't really care, but something that you can write down your to-do list on. And I use one page in a notebook for every day. So some people might think that's a little wasteful, but I think having a specific space or area for the tasks for the day is really important. I like to use my digital planner. It has a weekly spread and I also have a printable weekly spread available in my Etsy shop. I'll link that down below if that's something that you're interested in. All right. So now you have something you can write on. Let's get to step one. So step one is to create your list. Write down the tasks that you need to complete for the day. I'll go in more detail and in a future video on how to create an effective to-do list, referencing ideas from cognitive behavioral therapy, behavioral activation, and positive psychology, because I just think there is a way on like the psychological side to write an effective to-do list that's going to be more beneficial for you. So I'm not going to go into that detail in this video, but I will in the future. So make sure you like and subscribe if you're interested in more information about that. But all you need to do, write down your tasks for the day. All right, so now that you have your list written, what you need to do is reference and interact with that list every single day. That helps to make sure that you're actually getting those tasks done. So again, step two is to reference and interact. There are three things that you will do with your to-do list every single day. One, if you get a task complete, highlight the task. Don't cross it off. Don't write a little check mark next to it. You can do that, but you have to highlight it. Highlighting the task one, it gives you that feeling of crossing it out, but instead of crossing through and making it a little bit harder to read, you're actually highlighting it literally and figuratively where you're saying, this is something that I completed. It's a little celebration. So highlighting something versus crossing it off, I think just brings more attention to it. And that's something like, this is something I got done and I'm really proud of it. So highlight the tasks that you've completed. I like to change the color of the highlighter for each month to fit the season. So uh, for fall, I like to use fall colors. I use like greens and reds for around Christmas time, things like that, but highlight the tasks that you completed. Two, if you don't complete a task, but it's something that you still need to do, write one line through it and move it on to the next day. So that's when you start creating your next to-do list for the next day, or if you've already started it, 
that's fine. You can just add to it, but you cross off something you didn't get done, but still need to get done. And then you move it to the next day or the next to-do list. If there's a task that you no longer need to do, which sometimes it happens, you're like, oh, actually that's not something I have to do. So you're going to scribble it out if it's something that you no longer need to do. And that's what I would do if you're using a piece of paper and you've used a pen or you can delete it or erase it if you use pencil, if you're using a digital planner. I'm gonna go into this in more detail in a later video, but another recommendation I have is if there's a, a task that you're moving from one day to the next, that you're just writing a line up through it, moving it over, and you're just doing that every single day, that can be really discouraging. So that might be a time where you need to actually have another area that you have a list of ideas that you might not necessarily be able to get done today or even this week, but you want it written down so you don't forget about that idea down the road. So if you find yourself crossing off a task and moving it to the next day over and over again, that might be a time to have another list that you can reference later. Again, I'm going to go into more detail on that in a later video. So please, again, make sure to like and subscribe if that's something that you're interested in learning more about. So that's it. Write down your to-do list and then either highlight something you completed, put a line through and move to the next day of something that you still need to do or scribble or delete or erase something that you no longer need to do. You don't need that taking up your to-do list. You don't need to worry about it anymore. If you do that, you're celebrating the things you get done. You're remembering the things that you still need to do because you're moving it from day to day. And then you're not worrying about the things that no longer need to be done. So I am going to create some more videos about making effective to-do lists, talking about Dumbledore and time management. So please like and subscribe if you're interested in learning more about that. I hope this was helpful. Helpful. Again, I have my planners linked down below. Are you a to-do list junkie? Like, are, is this something that you're already doing? Is this some a system that works for you? Is there another system that you're using? Please comment down below and let me know if there's other things that I need to be thinking about. But remember, I want to keep it simple and easy so it's something that everybody can follow. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.